Hello and welcome to a short video about the DCS H64 the Apache and the Bruno CLSE 4 feedback joystick. A lot of people have problems with trim in the Apache and are curious about how it works with the Bruno CLSE joystick. Since a lot of people have asked me about it, I decided to make a quick video about it and explain how it works. Um, this video is going to be focusing on mostly trim since FOSS feedback with the Apache is fairly limited and you only get trim and a centering force. Okay, so let's talk about the basics of trim in a heli. So I'm looking at the control stick right now and if I move it about and release it, the stick is pulled back to the center. This is done using a magnetic brake in a helicopter. So you don't have traditional trim tabs like in an aircraft or inputs to a flight control system in a fly-by-wire aircraft, but instead you just have a magnetic brake that holds the stick or pulls the stick back to a center position. And the trim basically works by releasing the magnetic brakes. So if I hold down the trim key, I can move my stick around without any centering force. And once I have it where I want it, I just release the trim key. This resets these magnetic brakes into a new position and now the stick is in that position. If we move it around, it goes back to the new position. And if I want to change position, I can release the brakes again, move the stick, release, and it's in that position now. And if I want to center my trim, there are two markers on the pitch and roll axis. I can just move the stick into that position, release my magnetic brakes, and it's now centered again. This is all very intuitive with a force feedback stick, but a lot trickier using regular springs. And if I trim all the way forward on a force feedback stick, that's really not a big issue. So the stick is now trimmed all the way forward. So if I release it, it moves in that into that position, but I still have the full range of movement and I can pull it all the way back if I want to. Or if I want to center it, that's again, very easy. In order to get a FOSS trim working with the Brunner stick, we fundamentally have two ways. Uh, we can either do it through Brunner software or we can do it um, in DCS using DirectX force feedback. Uh, I'll first show you how to do it in the Brunner software, uh, where we can basically set up profiles for various um, aircraft and applications and configure it all in here. I'll show you the current profile I have on. Uh, it's basically just a center stick. So it's basically generating a spring force to keep the stick centered. Um, so as you move the stick to the edges, the force increases and the stick centers once we let go. And we have a few more bindings in here. Like um, for the hardware trim inside of the Bruno software. We can just bind any button on our stick. And in this case, I've bound the trim hat to trim release and trim reset. Uh, um, yeah, however, they don't really do anything yet because we don't have hardware trim enabled. But once we do, we can um, hold down our trim release. And now basically all centering force disappears. And once we release it, we have just changed the center of our stick to a new position. So I can quickly grab it again, release, and now we've changed the position to over there. The stick's now trying to center around that. And we can quickly grab it and put it in the middle again. Or we can use our reset key to move it to the middle. And yeah, it's basically just force trim working. It doesn't take any configuration in DCS and basically works like any old stick, except we have Fostrum working. And the second way to force trim the Apache in DCS is using DirectX force feedback. Now the Brunner stick doesn't actually support DirectX force feedback. Instead, you have to go through an extra step using a project called Brunner DX and an Arduino. I'm not going to go into the setup here. Um, it's actually relatively straightforward, but probably deserves its own video. 
And yeah, once we have dragged X4 seat back set up, um, it's relatively simple. We just press the trim key we set in DCS to release the brakes and move the stick about. It now moves freely and I can put it into a position that I want, release, and now the stick starts centering around that position. And I'm now gonna reset my trim, move it back to the center, and now my stick's centered again. So let's take off and show it on flight. Let's give it some collective and some rudder and start flying forwards. Okay, so now that the aircraft is flying at a constant speed, we can take care of the trim. So if I let go of the stick now, the aircraft immediately starts pitching forward, so we need to trim it out. Let's first get like moving into a stable sort of straight line. And then now that we're stable, uh, just release the brake on the stick and move it into a stable position, release the brake, and now we're flying in a straight line. And that's as simple as trimming out a helicopter is with a force feedback stick. Alright, that's all. Thanks for watching.